there is a big difference in, sorry, um, understanding musicality and just shedding and having fun. There's plenty of us that know how to have fun and shed and blast off and go crazy and that also understand how to play music, whether it be quality music or just still fun music, we still know how to keep it musical. But then there's also uh, the, a lot of the most uh, of the people out there uh, nowadays that don't necessarily understand the musicality of a lot, but they understand how to take off and go crazy. Uh, but there's always a time and place. There's always a time and place to have fun and, and doodle, play all the fast, crazy chops. And then there's the time where the music is kind of doing so much already where it's not really needed. It'll feel better if you just kind of keep it still as possible, simple. And the less you put in there, the more better it'll feel and the more space you give the music to do what it's doing, which is making everybody dance. So um, shout out to all the cats out there that understand music and that are super musical. Um, I should call them uh, Josh Fosters. <laughs> shout out to all the Josh Fosters and, and Devin Taylors. And uh, I know it's only one of them, but all of the people that have the ability and the capacity to truly think, you know what I mean? And that musical capacity and, and hear the music more than just like playing over the music. So, yeah, man, I'm just gonna, uh, I'll demonstrate, you know what I mean, what I would do. And from my perspective of musicality, I'm gonna have some fun, but I'm going to, I'm going to play the music first. I'm going to play the music and fill out the spaces that are not necessary for me to play over, but I'm just gonna kind of fill. And then when there's space for me, I'll have my fun. So I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate what that looks like with the musicality side and then the fun side. And I hope you guys like it. Here's a little bit more of that open space for me to take off. <laughs> 